Naomi here from Oh Me, Oh My Makeup, which is my Instagram handle. So if you like to check me out over there, I will leave that link down below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. So what I wanted to do today is do a full face of makeup that just makes me happy. I think in the middle of this kind of dark and scary time, I think it's really important to find things that make you happy and surround yourself with those. Some of the things that make me the most happy is spending time with my family, spending time outside, and makeup. And that sounds kind of goofy, but it's definitely my hobby. And I absolutely love makeup, and I find it's a huge escape for me to be able to do just sit down and relax and do my makeup. So what I did to do today was just pick out some of my favorite things, do my makeup, and also kind of surround myself with things around me that make me happy. Scents make me happy, the smell of really beautiful things. A candle in the background. I have my um, Sol de Janeiro body spray that I just love. I just figured we could kind of make our, make our little happy space and do our makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I put my hair back already. I already did my eyeshadow base and then trying to pick out today's eyeshadow palette was really difficult because I love eyeshadow palettes. They're probably one of my favorite makeup products. I have quite a few of them that actually make me really happy. But the one I wanted to choose today is actually kind of special and it's kind of goofy. It is like my um, build your own eyeshadow palette. I, won't, I don't wanna turn it too much. Eyeshadows in here are beautiful. The colors are really beautiful, but this is the eyeshadow palette that my fiance actually depotted with me. We sat down and we took all my single eyeshadows and we did, well, I didn't, he did. <laughs> I just sat there with him and we depotted all my eyeshadows. So this is like my special little eyeshadow palette. It was kind of cute. Um, about a week ago, he was like, you never use our eyeshadow palette anymore. So I kind of felt bad. So I definitely wanted to pull it out and use it um, and kind of just create a look. And it has some really beautiful like everyday eyeshadows. So I felt like we could just jump into this. So I'm going to grab a, a crease brush. I'm going to tap out any type of crease that I have for my primer. And I'm going to go into this light brown at the bottom. I don't really know what all of these eyeshadows are anymore, so I can't really tell you. I just really wanted you to maybe go into your makeup collection and find products that make you happy and pull those out and just kind of sit and play with them. I feel like we always get caught up in the new and the latest and greatest makeup and we forget kind of our tried and true old favorites. So that's kind of what I wanted to do for this video is just go into my collection and find my just favorite products and use those. Then I'm going to go into this dark brown up at the top and put that in my outer crease. So another big inspiration for today's video is the summer. I love the summer. I love when it's 105 degrees outside and I am just sweating like crazy. And I just love the makeup that I can do during the summer. I love to do bronzy, glowy, super, super glowy makeup. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to be going for today. I feel like a Right now, in the middle of all this, a lot of people are really concentrating on the bad and the negative and the things they're worried about. I understand. I am too. But I do think it's it's really, really important to pull yourself away from all of that and try to find the good in whatever situation you find yourself in. Because if you let the negative and all the bad bring you down, you can stay down for a really long time. So I think it's important to kind of break away from that and find the positive in anything that's going on. Go into this little purpley blue shift color and tap that on my lid. This is a really cool color. It's like a purple blue shift. And then I'm going to tap into this color and this is one of um, NYX's single eyeshadows. I think it's Girl Talk. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going into this J-Cat Chroma Galaxy. This is a Chroma Eye Mousse. These are beautiful. So that's what it looks like. Super pretty. So I'm just going to put that on top of what I placed down already. And this is just a really beautiful metallic creamy eyeshadow. That is so pretty. All right, so I cleaned up my under my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and start with primer. This is my Touch and Soul Pretty Glass Filter Skin Balm. I've talked about this a ton. It is just the most beautiful primer I've ever tried in my life. It smells beautiful. It smells like really nice skincare. And it gives me just the most beautiful glow. And it looks great under on every foundation I've tried it. The foundation I'm going to use is my most newest favorite. It's the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. This is beautiful. This foundation is probably my favorite foundation ever. I did do a review on it. I will leave that link down below, but it just makes me freaking happy wearing this. So I'm gonna wear it again. I am just blending that in all over. I don't need a ton because I want today's makeup to be super 
lightweight because that's kind of what I do during the summers. I do really lightweight, bronzy, glowy makeup. It doesn't have to be a ton of coverage because most of the time I'm going on the boat or I'm just going to go sunbathe in the yard or whatever I'm going to be doing. I definitely don't need tons of coverage. Tap it in with a sponge after I've used a brush. A lip balm. So I'm going to apply the Capari Lip Glossy. This smells so nice and it looks really super glossy and it's very hydrating. So next is going to be concealer. It is going to be the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. I am going to use it in Little White Lies. I haven't used this on video yet, but I got it from my BoxyCharm. It is a bit dark, but once you blend it out, it is super sheer coverage. The reason I love this, it doesn't have tons, ton of coverage, but it is, leaves such a beautiful glow on your skin that's just so radiant, and it's the only concealer I've ever seen that does that doesn't do a ton of coverage so I don't wear it on the daily but it is super super pretty very beautiful lightweight looking concealer that is just very sheer in coverage but beautiful does not concealer have the most beautiful finish I love it so I absolutely love cream products on your face especially during the summer they just are beautiful I'm gonna go into my milk bronzer and baked and I'm taking just a little duo fiber brush I'm going to swirl that in and just apply that everywhere to my face Blending that in everywhere. Next, I'm gonna go in with cream blush. I love this cream blush. I have never heard anyone talk about it. It's the Yolota Face Paint Lip and Cheek Tint. And this is in Blooming Mirror. I've never heard anyone talk about this. I wanna get other colors. It is the most beautiful cream blush I've ever used in my life. It is so gorgeous. It comes out like that color. And I use it a lot, but what I do is I, I put it on my hand and then I spread it out, kind of rub it in. And you can see it is so pretty and the glow is just beautiful. I'm going to take my little duo fiber brush and just blend that onto the skin. I like to apply too much, a little too much because I can always tone it down. But especially during the, like during summer, I love to have tons of blush. And I like to put a little on my nose because it looks like I got a cute little sunburn. And I just tap it in with my sponge. Next highlighter, I'm gonna go into my, I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face Illuminator. This is so beautiful. It came out in the summer, it's in Prism Rose. It is a kind of interesting consistency. So it's it's kind of oily, um, but it's super, super glowing. There you go. It is gorgeous. So it is a little bit of a tricky formula, so I always use it when I'm not using a ton of um, foundation. And I just rub it in and I'm just tap it onto my face. Use a very soft, gentle hand so I don't disturb the makeup. And then once you place this down, you really can't put any powder over top of it. So you want to make sure you really um, steer clear of this area with any type of powder. But this just gives you the, I've been outside, it's 100 degrees, and I'm sweating like crazy, and it's beautiful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I love the butter bronzers. I love the formula. I love the colors they have and I love the scent. The scent of these just makes it smell like summer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. This is the Sculpt Bronzer. It is definitely a little dark, um, but I use it during the summer and it gives me a most beautiful like sunburnt glow. I'm also going to go into the lighter one just to do a little bit of nose contour and blend out the darker one with a lighter one. Also a blush that makes me super happy is the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Duo in the daiquiri color. I love this blush. It is so freaking beautiful. So I'm going to take my little brush and tap into that and just tap a little bit on my cheeks. It is super glowy and it's just a really beautiful color. I love it a lot. And my face definitely <laughs> looks wet and I'm not mad about it. So now it's time for just a tiny bit of powder. I'm going into my Jeffree Star powder, and I bet you can guess exactly why I love this. Not only do I really like Jeffree Star, but the smell of this is freaking phenomenal. It smells like cotton candy. It smells so nice. Just love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a tiny little brush at, so I don't get too much powder. And I'm going to tap underneath my eyes, get all those creases out of there. And I'm just going to set underneath just a little bit. And make sure you don't go back too far so you don't get into that highlighter. Okay, so I curled my lashes and did my mascara. I want to do a little eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'm going to grab my little brush with the first brown color that we went, I went into. And just kind of drag that underneath. 
and I'm gonna go pretty far down. I really love a smoked out lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with this darker brown at top. Uh, inner corner highlight and I'm going to use this pink color right here and that is such a beautiful color I'm going to do my mascara on my lower lash and I'll be right back next I was going to do my lips what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Colourpop Beeper liner and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Color Riche Glossy Fawn I love a nude glossy lip during the summer or anytime all the time <laughs> And Beeper is my absolute favorite lip liner ever. Apply the Glossy Fawn. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. I love these lipsticks. They are so smooth and glossy and glowy and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells so good in here because of my candle. I know hot cocoa and cream is one of my favorite Bath and Body Works scents. I know it's definitely not seasonal, not like spring or summer or seasonal, but I love it, so I don't even care. I'm going to quick do a little spurts of my favorite setting spray. I did just use one of these up, and I wasn't going to buy another one, but I just couldn't be without it. It just smells so beautiful. I forgot, but I was going to do a little body highlight. So I'm going to use my Persona Cosmetics in Zuma and just put a little bit on my collarbone why not all right so there is my makeup finish I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but honestly right now I don't care what's seasonal I don't care what's trending I just wanted to do some makeup that made me truly feel beautiful and truly brought a little bit of happiness to me in these kind of scary times all right well I hope you enjoyed this video and you're able to kind of relax with me and do your makeup and I will catch you on the next one bye guys